What's poppin' royals and welcome to another episode of The Late Night Tea with your hostess with the mostest, your girl Queen T, aka the dot rising dot star on Instagram and TikTok. Now without further ado, let's get into it, boo. Episode 3 is all about Noah and Doja and their beef. Now if you don't know anything about the situation, let me summarize. Noah and Doja are supposedly friends on social media. Supposedly they have conversations all the time. The fact that they have conversations all the time, Doja found herself feeling safe and comfortable enough to approach Noah about Joseph Quinn. Now, if you don't know Noah, Noah is Will from Stranger Things. If you watch Stranger Things and you saw season four, then you know our beloved Eddie Munson, who is played by actor Joseph Quinn. Now, Doja reached out to Noah to find out what Joseph Quinn's Instagram was because apparently she couldn't find it for herself. Now, that being said, that conversation was in private. You would think that that would be the end of it and we were gonna find out that Doa, excuse me, Doja <laughs> and Joseph were dating at some point. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. But instead, what we had was Noah going to TikTok and posting that private conversation with the caption, Thirsty Doja. Now, Doja responded with this live. Try to be chill about it. To be fair, this is like a, a kid. Like Noah is like, I don't know how old he is. He's 17. Now, not too long ago, y'all were trying to nail Charlie to the cross about saying she did not like escargot. All of you had your panties in a bunch and you were all unfollowing her because she had a goal that she had set and she had not hit it by the time that she wanted to and she was upset that she did not have 100 million followers upon the date that she set to have them. There were so many people unfollowing a 17 year old child. Now, my question is, why is it now that it's Noah's 17 year old self that we feel that we're going to put all the blame on Doja? Absolutely the fuck not. This is how I feel about it. At 17 years old, Noah is wise enough to know in high school not to share a private conversation. That is not something that is beyond him. I'm sure he's more than capable of understanding that. He just posted some kind, I mean, I understand math and numbers and people skills and book smarts are two different things, but the child is smart. Let's be realistic. He understands what happened and the capacity of what was going on. And yes, I'm gonna throw up my hand now because somebody has the right to come for me because I'm queen of do not compare, consi or excuse me, situations or anything when it comes to comparisons, but hello. She was 17. I made a video about this. I'll leave that link in the in the description or some shit. But listen, I stood up for Charlie back then because I said she was 17 years old and y'all need to step off her back because there are things that are said in private all the time and nobody is coming for you because nobody knows you, boo. However, in Noah's situation, you are 17 years old. I do believe at 17, you're old enough and wise enough to know better than to share something that was shared with you in private. Thus, his last post saying we're all cool and then everybody saying that it's crazy that we think that he owes her an apology. He did something that was wrong. She felt hurt and she spoke up about it. I don't see where she's wrong here. And you know what? I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to be chill because that's exactly what Doja asked. Now, somebody did ask me the other night if I'm a Doja Cat fan and I want to clear this up right now because I said no. I said no immediately and the reason that I said no is because in my mind a fan is somebody that follows you knows all your music knows all this stuff and I was like I don't know all that about Doja so I can't say I'm a fan however I say I'm a Stranger Things fan and I love Stranger Things but I don't know all the words word for word so that brings me back to Doja I am a fan I do love Doja I also love Noah so let's be realistic about this situation let's be fair Doja is a woman who opened up to a young man about her having emotions or liking or going after another person. Now we can say all is fair in love and war. However, I know I have some rules and some separations. I'm not going to get into those right now. But the focus being, 
that here is a conversation that should have been kept private and the growth that can come out of this for the both of them is one not letting Noah do something that clearly hurt another person and not take accountability for the situation see a lot of people y'all sound like those mothers that sit inside of Walmart and I watch y'all this is not gentle parenting letting your baby kick scream and slap you in the face and not having any type of reaction or response just letting the temper tantrum happen until that baby grows into a toddler with worse tantrums into a teenager with worse tantrums into an, a, a full-grown adult who thinks that there is nothing that they do that is wrong from hitting somebody to cussing somebody out to sharing other private information okay see he is 17 years old but he is still growing and this is a situation where I feel he's wrong and I feel a lot of people feel like he's wrong so the fact that she lost 200,000 people and he gained 1 million I feel that you people saying that her fans are toxic for saying that she deserves an apology from a 17 year old if a 17 year old does something wrong the only way that 17 year old can stop doing wrong grow and be better is to be exposed to the fact that he did something wrong he does owe her an apology she spoke to you in private you made a joke about her feelings her emotions her private conversation her private feelings online with your millions of followers and you guys are saying that we are toxic the people who believe that doja deserves an apology i think not i think charlie still is owed an apology and i think doja now owes one or deserves one is owed one now <laughs> now as i said i love them both because even though i don't know everything about doja all her music the little bit that i have been exposed to i love tremendously i love everything that i've ever seen about doja cat her look her music her lyrics her style the way that she delivers them everything i love it love it love it love it love it love it doja well noah i love you in every scene i hate that people are on social media talking about you ruining the show because i don't think that you could i love you I actually back you up when they try to talk shit about you when they talk about Mike and I don't even know why we're talking about characters it doesn't matter reality right now the reality is both of you have room to grow that's why I'm starting this off saying I love both of you because yes Noah you are wrong okay you need to go and apologize to Doja that little caption talking about we all could no no absolutely not maybe y'all had a conversation in private and y'all don't want to share that with us that's cool but we all good sweetheart you were in the wrong you need to grow up and it's not about oh i'm rushing growing up on you but that is a part of your growth that you are going to need to grow through before you get to 22 because at this age okay we could say okay it's 17 that's something boys do but if a 17 year old boy did this in my high school i would still find him wrong I would okay now aside from that focusing on doja now doja i see a lot of people who calling you childish for talking or having beef with a child that is not my concern here i understand that you're speaking your feelings and you i don't even know why i'm talking like i'm talking to you unless you watch it if you're watching you go ahead and let me know but what i do feel doja your growth and hello oh i feel some type of way that i'm telling these grown-ass people how I feel about y'all but you know what tis what it is your growth doja that is very condescending for you to be talking about I'm better than you I'm this I'm that and you know what I understand that you might need to do that to keep yourself elevated above all the bullshit and I understand that that's something that's just on the star level in general like I eat bitches and I this and I that and I'm number one never number two and all of that yes okay I get it but it just looks very like did you have anything else to say besides y'all are cringe like just do better dojo i know you can and that's all i have to say about that that's it and you know what in the same breath it's like i still respect you for having to like doing what you gotta do to keep yourself elevated because at the end of the day while all of the world is focusing their anger and attention all on doja cat 
she still has to like deal with all of that so if that is what she feels that she has to do to elevate herself then hats off to you boo but honestly i just really wish that you found a better way to do that i really honestly and truthfully wish that you found a more because i listen to you speak i listen to the way that you deliver yourself i'm watching you and i'm like you are like you are elevated you are gracious you are poised like there was definitely something more along those lines that you could have found to deliver and maybe it would have took a little bit more time to find it but i will take on better than you for now but i know you can do better so as i'm saying both of y'all got room to grow because i don't know condescending behavior just that whole situation just seemed the response seemed childish but the reaction and you voicing your feelings being hurt and you feeling like you know he did something like okay i understand he's a child but that is kind of mischievous that is kind of like not just mischievous that's borderline snake shit that's exactly what it is like i have no other words and that's exact it was weasley it was something that's like in god's green earth would you do that to me type thing like what 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 did you hope to gain out of this situation like was he telling you that he liked me and now you feel some type of way because you like him and you had you like why why on god's green earth did you feel it necessary to do that Noah? i don't know i'm um, um, i don't know i guess that's my question you could give an apology to Doja, but my question, what you owe me, what you owe the rest of us, I don't know about what y'all looking for. I don't want an apology. I want an explanation. Okay, explain yourself, sir. Like, what made you come to the conclusion that posting that, if y'all really friends, I don't know, that just make me throw red flags and say I could never trust you. That's just how I feel. And if y'all feel differently, then go ahead and get at me in my comments down below or my DMs, whatever y'all want to do. I don't care, man. But I love you guys. This is the end of this episode. Next time, we will be talking about this pink sauce that I'm seeing. Oh, we're going to pray for y'all. But apparently, there's pink sauce being sold on TikTok and it's making people sick. So let's talk about it next time. <laughs> So that is all for tonight. Our message from our tea tonight is bring me the sunset in a cup. Emily Dickinson. I actually got my tea in here tonight. Last time I think y'all knew I am. Beauty is not caused. It is. Also, Emily Dickinson. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your night and your day. I love you all and I would love for you to stay tuned until we're under the next moon to discuss our new tea, which is that pink sauce. <sighs> Jesus. Anywho, I love you. Bye. <laughs> And as always, if you got tea for me, make sure you drop me some comments down below because I'm always looking for some new tea, yo. And if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. You love this video, go ahead and follow me or subscribe because I love having new subscribers all the time. New friends, new family. Let's chill. <laughs> Bye, guys. Sweet.